The Alpine Coaster is the steepest and longest track in the Alps. It is 2.8 km long with a height difference of 640 meters. It makes 40 hairpin turns and it will speed you down to the valley up to 50 km per hour in a truly unique hands-on experience. Most of the turns feel quite shaky for the reason that the straight line parts of the track are attached to the circularly bent pieces forming the turns instead of following smooth geodesic curves. Of course, there is a strong relation between minimal surfaces and geodesic lines. It is all about geometrical and structural features, surface curvature, patterns and patterning. The geodesic winding of minimal surface pavilion is an irregular grid shell assembled from thin elastic plywood strips in a geodesic pattern perceived as a winding pattern. The architectural space was realized by help of students at Innsbruck University, creating a new arrival area for the Alpine coaster at the ski resort of the Seilesbahn in Meters in Austria. So the concept of geodesic curves was a guiding aspect for the design of the pavilion, architecturally but also structurally. The structure was supposed to be situated as a south face of the Cable Car Valley Station with the requirements of organizing the space and the flow of visitors through a logical guiding system offering a shaded waiting area with multivariant seating for the guests and visitors as well as providing a cooler and safer workspace for the staff which is responsible for the arrival area of the Alpine Coaster. On the other hand, five major restrictions governed the design and project. The design should use the idea of Jazz Essex as a driver of our digital design explorations, workflow and production in a way that it is doable and comp comprehensible for the students based on the previous knowledge and training. Transport and installation must be completed within five days only. The structure cannot exceed a height for which scaffolding is needed due to the student's safety. The structure must limit the activities daily business of the ski op operator and the access of the fire department, respectively emergency exits. The total costs including material, production, transport and installation should not exceed 5,500 euros. As a project, it is merging student learning in architectural design and digital fabrication techniques as a design-built experience and real-world application, including its technical, logistic and economical restrictions. For many students, it is also a unique opportunity to get a hands-on and learning by doing experience. The realization phase is not only important as a physical result of the course, but it also fosters collaboration, responsibility, team building amongst the students. Essential part of our workflow was the generation of a minimal surface providing sufficient curvature for the geodesic winding. So the definition of geometry at a minimum amount of control points transformed into a subdivision surface by Cutmore clark algorithm being pre-stressed and relaxed as a mesh with uniform pre-stress and then finally populated by geodesic lines respectively strips on the surface. In total 75 strips, half a kilometer of total length and 3300 holes to drill at the intersection points.
If you want to learn more about creativity and multidisciplinarity in architecture and engineering, about geometrical features of the research pavilion, the digital workflow, the drivers of the decision-making processes, the materiality, the assembly methods, and the safety features, the detailed information about benefits of irregularity and so on, then we invite you to read this and others of our associated papers and of course we are happy to receive your emails, calls, comments and feedback of how to inspire the next generation. Thank you very much.